This is my uh, Shimano Altegra RDR8000. It's an 11 speed, it's current model um, Altegra rear derailleur. And it comes with this little bit here um, that sticks out the back. And if you want to know what that bit does and you look in uh, the documentation in Shimano hat, all you, all you get is this diagram, this little page here that says direct mount type, replacing with direct mount type, and then you can take that dog leg out. And that's it, it doesn't tell you why uh, you might want to do that. So you have to you have to really Google what direct mount is, and you if <laughs> it might take you a while, but you'll eventually figure out that uh, direct mount isn't about the direct uh, how how the derailleur is mounted. It's about where the derailleur is mounted. The idea is that you're bringing this pivot point of the derailleur further back in the bike. Why are we doing that? Well, that's to accommodate bigger cassettes now, so you can get a uh, short, case, short case derailleur that this is still going up a much larger cassette because it's further back in the bike. And also it has a secondary benefit of it's a bit easier to drop your wheel out and there's a bit more space. But I don't need this because I don't have a big cassette and I really have problems getting my wheel in and out. And what I've noticed is that this extra pivot point here creates a little bit of extra play. So the whole thing is slightly more, got slightly more movement that I can't fix this, uh, this bolt is tight. It just puts another it just puts another link in the whole system. If you think about it, from the bottom pulley up to the frame, you've got one, two, three, four, five joins now, which could potentially introduce play to the rear derailleur. So I don't really need this. I don't want it. I want to remove this. And I looked at the instructions and I tried to take it out, and it won't. I can't take it out because I don't have a direct mount type rear hanger. So let's just be clear about a couple things here. Rear hangers on bikes are generally up and down. Like if this bike was up on, up on the ground, you would see that the axle and the, the standard pivot point are more or less up and down. Um, and again, the idea for direct mount is that you bring that pivot point back here. Now, I don't have a hanger that comes all the way back here, so I need this little dog leg thing. I think it's also called the E-Link. Um, and so I'm stuck with it. If I, I, I can't remove it because the derailleur doesn't really affix or work properly. It's not in the right position if I take this thing out. Um, and I can't find a direct mount rear, rear hanger for this bike because there's none such thing available. I called the manufacturer. They said, no, we're not, we don't have one and we don't plan to make one. Uh, and if you look, you'll actually see a lot of the Pro Peloton have had rear derailleur hangers fabricated because their manufacturers don't make them either. So they can get to this point on, on, the, on the back and eliminate this extra joint here. And I think that's probably why, because it creates a sloppiness in the shifting, which... It's really counterintuitive because you're buying high-end stuff here. It's a little bit frustrating, um, but if you're in my boat, and most of you roadies will be, that you have an original style hanger, and so you've got to keep this this uh, this dog leg, here, then you're going to get worse shifting. There's no way that this is stiffer than without having this, uh, this link in here. So it's a little bit unfortunate, um, and a lot of mountain bikers uh, don't have this issue because their bikes come with a direct mount rear hanger. But if there was any way I could get rid of this, I would. I can't, so I'm stuck with it. And uh, I hope that this helps explain to you uh, what direct mount is. Needless to say, if you have the option to look for a bike or your next road bike which has a direct mount rear hanger, then that would save you a little bit of slop in your gear change. So maybe look out for that from your manufacturer or look out for aftermarket parts or for third party parts that will that will give you the direct mount position so you can eliminate this piece best of luck